Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're going to look at a distro I haven't looked at before, well, technically. We are going to look at Maybox Linux. This is Ma, Manjaro, and Box, OpenBox. This is, I don't know why this is not a community build. Uh, maybe they just haven't met a requirement. Maybe they haven't really applied. Whatever the case is. But this is a build of Manjaro that has OpenBox with a few other modifications. It's not pure open box. Uh, they have components from um, XFCE. They have components from Bunsen Labs. Basically, it's a lot of different little odds and ends uh, went into creating this particular distro. So here is their website, which is mavixlinux.org. You can go ahead and download the options over here. And there are a few different options for the download. Uh, this is a new version, just released uh, 8.29, so about a week or so ago. And we have a version that has the um, Linux uh, kernel, um, uh, the f uh, is it 5.15, uh, and then we have one which is 5.4. Four, uh, and LTS. And so you have a couple different options on the Linux kernel. Other than that, the downloads are much the same. It's not super heavy of a download. I think it's only like a little over a gigabyte if I remember correctly, and uh, I can't exactly remember correctly. Let me see if I can find it here in my box. And Oh, it is 2.3 gigabytes. So this is a 2.3 gigabyte download. So it's light and fast, uses only about 300 megabytes of memory, uh, fresh software. It is stable based on Manjaro. Now that is the controversial point. Is Manjaro stable or not? That has been a, uh, I mean, we'll resolve that one uh, right about the time we resolve, you know, is System D really bad and... Um, you know, is Arch the best distro or whatever else, you know. Um, so when we solve all those, we'll solve this one. But, you know, uh, they have the Maybox tools. Uh, this is one of the downsides that I saw. We'll show you inside. There's just so many settings and so many options and so many different places. Um, but we'll go ahead and have a look at that. It is free. You can donate to it on Cafe if you'd like to do that. They have a few different videos over here and... They have the news, they have the user's guide, download the first run, we have introduction to the desktop. There's a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts which are actually posted in the site itself. So this is, uh, this is overall a, a pretty good Linux distribution and in my initial testing of it. And uh, I can say the installer is just like installing Manjaro. Uh, you don't choose the office suite you want, you just go ahead and you install your uh, you install your uh, your system, you just do your basic settings, and that's it. Uh, once we actually get in over there, then we are treated with the desktop login manager here. And when we get in, this is what we get. We do have a launch at start, a, a welcome, which you can launch at start, or you can toggle this guy. We can run a system update here. Uh, I have not done that yet. You can see it's just going to pull up. Uh, it looks like this is Pomuk. Uh, so I'm going to pull up Pomuk and show you the things that you can install. I, I, I have a tendency sometimes to scroll my mouse wheel. Well, that's how you change your desktops. So if I actually do that and you see things flashing, that's probably what it is, is my mouse wheel scrolling. All right. Um, but there's your updates. Uh, nothing there. We do have the Manjaro tools to allow you to choose your kernel. So you can see we are running the um, the uh, 515 is the one that I'm running here. You have the uh, 5.4 available as well. 4.19 is available as well. And then you can actually go ahead 5.15, 18, and the 19. So you have a variety of kernels that you can choose to install if you want to. The install popular apps, uh, this is not Pomuk. This is just a very quick uh, app searcher. So this is kind of searching just for everything up here. And then we can see the, the overall listing down here. Let's see what the advanced toggle does. Okay, we have, we've added just a few options down at the bottom. So browsers, we don't have a ton of different options. Oh, there's actually more here than there were, but still not a ton. We have Firefox is installed. We have Vivaldi, Chromium, Epiphany, Midori, Falcon, Calcar, and Opera as options to install. Um, we have under email, Claws, Evolution, Geary, Kmail, Silfreed, uh, Thunderbird, under your Office suites. Free Office, we have the still and the fresh versions of LibreOffice. We have MS Office Online and the only Office desktop editors. So you can see there's a good suite of software available. 
uh, with the quick uh, application. We do have a, a quick start guide, which is going to go to the website and uh, just kind of take you online. So if you want to see uh, how to use it, there's the getting started portions, there's configuration, system management, applications, and the tools option. So let's, what is this, an ad? I actually accidentally just clicked an ad. Great. Okay, so screw Mobox. If you're going to do popover ads, which, by the way, um, yeah, um, screw you guys. You guys gave me a popover ad that I accidentally clicked on because I thought it was what you're doing. Um, this is overly aggressive on ads. I'm going to tell you that. Um, Mobox guys, you guys need to tone this down a li little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and get out of the quick start guide. I will not recommend going there. Uh, you can donate to it, although it looks like they might be getting enough money on ad revenue. Mm, who knows? <laughs> Just a thought. Uh, uh, they do have a forum over here. There's some YouTube stuff. Is this Facebook and YouTube? All right. All right. So that's what we have. Now, I wanted to have a look at the open box version here because I looked at, just recently looked at the, um, is it the Pi version of Sparky, I think it was, which was available with open box and it was a horrible experience. This one's actually a really nice experience. Really, the only thing I would like to see on this for me to actually give it a try in production is I would like to see a either a way to do desktop icons or perhaps there might be a way to throw a folder down here as a widget type thing. I don't know. I did not look into that all that much. But we can see over here we have our power systems over here. We have a right side panel here, uh, which we can call in or not. This is basically the same thing as... Um, uh, there's a couple a couple times I've seen that menu, uh, but basically quick settings and and things like that. Uh, here's your Pomac. Here's your uh, mirror rankings. So if you want to change your mirrors, you can do that. Good in a case like me where I travel around a lot. For power, we have our clock. Um, we have screenshots. So we have flame shot for screenshots, which works pretty well. Uh, here's CPU meter, uh, memory meter, and we have the internet connections. Right-clicking anywhere on the desktop is going to give us a quick menu, and we have a terminal. We have the browser, basically the, the favorite software up here, and then we have full access to all the software down here. We can lock the screen. We can do a screenshot. Lots of cool things from that, and then we have extra options over here. So we have a nice cheat sheet over here, which is really cool to use. So I can hit Super R and pull up a radio. So that's actually pretty cool. They're, in the, they're one our copyright strike, right? <laughs> or copyright claim, I should say. Um, <laughs> didn't have my uh, audio switched over. It was playing. I didn't know it. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, we can toggle Conky with the Super K. So that's going to toggle everything on and everything off. So if I want to turn on or off Conky, I can do that. Uh, we can quickly see over here that uh, we are running only about 350 megabytes. So they were they were correct about that. Everything does seem pretty nice and flashy here. Now, here's kind of the downsides in addition to the over-aggressive ads. We have a lot of different settings in a lot of different places. Here's a Mobox control panel here. And this is going to control uh, some of your, basically like your Tint 2 panels, which is part of the open box, uh, your Conky settings, all these types of things in there. Uh, we also have a settings over here, um, which is a lot of different settings. This is that same control panel. We have a Manjaro settings panel over here. Um, we have, I think there was, I thought there was one more settings panel in here somewhere as well. Let's see, there's add remove software. These are just all the basic settings. So we have a Manjaro settings manager. That's the one we looked at. We have open box configuration manager. We have the, um, I think YAD is another manager. So there's different managed settings managers all over the place, kind of sprinkled throughout. It'd be nice if there was one unified place, kind of like I think Peppermint does that in a way, is they'll uh, they'll have one box which has all of the system settings in one place, which makes most sense if you have a distribution like this that you are pulling in components from a lot of different systems, and sure, this does bring in it with a lot of different settings options, but... If you were to create one application to open up for settings where you can see all those settings options in one place, that way I don't be like, oh, there's something missing or whatever else. And 
and then I just don't know where this is or where that is, you at least see that there's multiple different places to do the settings. Overall, though, I really do like the way this works. They, as typically with Manjaro, although this is not a, an official Manjaro build, as with everything else Manjaro, this does look beautiful. I really like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Um, this might be something, uh, I don't know if this is available on a Raspberry Pi build or something. I might give it a try over there. Again, the one factor I really need is desktop icons uh, for my regular workflow. But I did test everything else. Does work fairly well. Uh, we have access to our, uh, our files here. We have access to um, our terminal over here. And we can quickly go between each of these guys here. Let's see if we got a second instance of files open. So that meets all the requirements that I personally like for my personal workflow. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, but I would like to see if I had the ability to put some uh, desktop icons on here. I've not researched into that super thoroughly yet. If you happen to know off the top of your head, uh, either a way to put a folder over here, maybe I'll check Conky settings or something, uh, it would be a, a neat thing to do. So uh, that is my thoughts with uh, Maybox Linux. It is very nice if you're looking for something super lightweight that's a little bit unique. This is good. I'm probably not the best to give to like a parent, a grandparent or something that isn't as computer savvy. It is significantly different than Windows or Mac or other things are available. It's not a full-fledged desktop environment, more of just a window manager, but it's a window manager with the flexibility to do some of the things that you need it to do. So overall, I do like this. Uh, a unified settings panel would be awesome, or at least one place where all those settings panels can be gotten in one spot and hey maybe not put pop over google ads on your website that would be awesome as well well anyway let me know what your thoughts are about this one of course we do have a patreon page and a subscribe star page if you'd like to help support the channel have a look over there we also have affiliates as well a lot of those are linked in the uh, description of this video thanks for watching and i hope that you enjoy switching to linux thank you for watching this video from switched to linux this channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.